Okay, and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a flushing LED with the micro bit. So, what are we going to need? Well, first of all, we're going to need a breadboard. There we go. So, we've got a breadboard, that's where all our uh, components are going to go on to. We're going to need a, a green eel LED or a red LED or whichever color you want LED. And we're going to need a resistor. There's a resistor. Now this one is a 100 ohm resistor, which is brown, black, brown on the color scheme. You can see that there. It actually goes brown, black, brown, gold. Um, there we go. And we're going to need a micro bit, obviously, to control it all and to turn the LEDs on and off and to power the LEDs. And finally, we're also going to need two cables to connect the connect all the uh, the breadboard through to the mag, uh, mag, uh, the micro bit. So, these cables here, you won't get them, uh, or I, I struggle to find them, so I had to make them myself, but on the one end here, I've got a uh, male jumper lead, and then at the other end, I've got a crocodile clip. So you don't have to use exactly this setup, but that's the way I've done it. What I've done is I've joined, I've taken the end of the um, this this lead here and joined it to a crocodile clip. I've just got a crocodile clip and joined it directly onto there. There we go. Let's put that back in. Good. Okay, so how do we wire it up? Well, wiring it up is nice and simple. All we're going to do is we're going to go from the uh, out from the zero uh, on the micro bit, out from the zero on the cable, through the LED and then through the resistor and then back to the micro bit. So let's have a go. So let's use the let's use the red one. Here we go. So we use the red one onto the zero. Then we go into the breadboard. Make sure you're on the internal part of the breadboard here, not the external part. There'll be a picture later. Then once we're onto the breadboard, then we need to go through the LED. So here's the LED, and if you have a look. One of the legs here is slightly shorter. You can see that one's slightly shorter, which means it should be the negative. And you can just see as well, the negative's also got a flat bit. You can sort of, you can either see it or feel it. All we've got to do is we go this, the longer leg, the positive, is going to go in line with this cable here. And then the shorter leg is going to jump over this gap in the middle of the breadboard to here. So it's going to go, so effectively the, the uh, current is going to go along here along that line, through the first leg, up through the LED, down through the second leg. And then what we do here is we take the resistor that we've got here. And the resistor, um, the resistor, you can be plugged in either way. It doesn't matter which way the resistor plugs in. It, it, it doesn't make any difference, unlike the LED. Let's plug the resistor. There we go. Good stuff. And there we go. Now the resistor is going to go from, I've put it at the end here of the inside, and it jumps over to this rail here. I've actually put, plugged it into the positive. Let's put it in the negative rail just to be make sure it's doing it properly. Let's plug that in. There we go. There we go. So we've gone along here through the LED uh, from the positive side to the neg negative side, over through the resistor. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to come from this rail here. It can be anywhere along this rail because the electronics run this way on these ones. And then back to the ground on our micro bit. There you go. That's as complicated as that gets. There we go. So now we've done that, all we need to do is we need to plug our micro bit into the computer using a micro bit, um, a USB lead, micro bit USB lead. I've got one here. So let's plug that into my computer. There we go. And once that plugs in, we need to write a new script. Okay, so let's code the LED. Let's click, uh, we've gone to microbit.org, and let's just close that one down. Click on Let's Code, and we'll go down. We're going to code in JavaScript Code Kingdoms, because it's a nice, easy way of coding uh, for beginners. Obviously, if you want to use Python or whatever you want to use, you can use an alternative. And there we are, JavaScript Code Kingdoms. Let's call our script uh, flashing, uh, flashing LED. There we go. And to flash the LED on and off, all we need to do is let's create ourselves a loop, a while loop, and a while true, because that's going to be an infinite loop. There we go. And all we need to do is click on the main one here, go down to write pin digital, 
There we go. And that's what we're going to use. Right pin digital. It means we're going to talk to those pins. And the, I've got it, that crocodile clip connected to pin zero. And we're going to turn it on, which is true. There we go. So uh, forever we turn it on. Put, turn pin zero on. Then we're going to wait uh, milliseconds. We need a thousand milliseconds, which is one second. Good. So we wait a thousand milliseconds. Then we turn it off by setting the digital uh, pin the pin as digital false. May have pin zero to false. And finally, we have another wait for one millisecond. Here we go. Uh, sorry, one mil, no, one thousand milliseconds. There we go. So uh, while true, turn it on. Wait a second. Turn it off. Wait a second. There we go. Done. And we click compile. There we go. And that's now ready to copy over onto the micro bits. The micro bits. There it is. And we just copy straight over to there. One, two. And that will now flash on and off. There we go. There we go. So now, as you can see, it flashes on and off. Now, that is as difficult as it gets for the um, turning an LED on or off. Now, on the micro bit here, without using a breakout board, you can turn on and off up to one, two, three different LEDs at a time. So we could have a, a green, a yellow, and a red, and we could do a traffic light system uh, if we connected all three in. And then always we could use uh, use the buttons to control those traffic lights or something like that. We'll have a go at that in a future video. There we go.